greetings into your world. Do you go with the flow? Do you notice synchronicity? Can you be in the energy of the moment? This is all a little bit of spirit medicine art. This is going beyond the facts and the matters and connecting to the spirit and the energy that flows. So when we were trying to set up everything here, we ended up having, of course, beautiful Ganesha here that Ceci painted a long time ago, it seems. And I want to take this opportunity because the spirit of Ganesha is talking to me. So you see, spirit medicine is simply being open enough to notice synchronicities, to notice the beauty, to notice the messages that are coming through. So Ganesha has been with us from the 10th of January when beautiful Guru Dev was visiting us and part of the mantra that we are actually chanting every day is about Ganesh or Ganesha. And what does it mean? It's about removing obstacles. And just as I am feeling now this energy and the support of Ganesha, I'm recognizing how much it is related to the spirit medicine and the story medicine art that I just share now. Not because I was into this for a long time, well, I have, but not because I ever felt I was an expert, but simply because the spirit medicine art has always been calling me. It was more remembering, opening new horizons, new dimensions in this time of a universal shift to be of service. And yes, I actually went way back to the little boy that was roaming in the forest while my mother took care of her bees. I was connecting to spirit, to the energy. I was talking to trees and to plants and I was talking to the animals, of course. Even looking in the eyes of a fox or whatever animal came, playing and dancing with the dragonflies and also talking to fairies. So when we open up ourselves to these other dimensions, to energy, to spirit, to light and to source, we are in the middle of spirit medicine. And spirit medicine is practiced very much by the Native Americans and many, many other indigenous people wisdom keepers in the world who understand to connect to life. On this journey, I found out that civilized communities, civilized humanity wants to separate from life. We go against the germs, against the ecosystems. We want it all our way. We like to control and restrict and resist. But indigenous wisdom and spirit medicine is not like that. It's an art. It is being one with the living systems, with ecosystems. It is listening to the messages. It is hearing the signs. And the medicine comes to us in a very particular and specific way. So I called it the shifting essentials. Imagine you can reset, rewire, reconnect to a new clarity. Post this experience. Imagine you can rewire and find yourself in a new level of authenticity. It's just a new horizon. It's just a new dimension. Imagine you can be inspired in a way you never thought you could be inspiring and be inspired. Imagine you could open your heart more. Anytime I listen to the story myself, my heart opens more. Anytime I look at the classes, I open up more. And this is the beauty. And lightness, 
yeah, I'm a very light person, especially when I live in the jungle and I'm not stuck in the city. But hey, I can still open up new horizons. And maybe so can you. So this is what spirit medicine art is all about. It's an appreciation for life, living systems here on the planet and in the whole universe. To the subtle messages, to the energy that flows, and to our choice. So hopefully with this story, sound, and spirit medicine art that we are sharing with you now, hopefully you can open up and hopefully you can make a choice to your own awakening, to the own, your own new version, the extraordinary version of you. The more we put positivity, appreciation into everything that's life, the more we embrace the challenge, the more we go with the flow and we allow synchronicity to come to us, the more easier it gets. Maybe it's time to stop the fight against nature, against ecosystems, including bacteria and virus. Maybe it's time to be one and make that choice consciously so our intelligence of the heart can be one with nature, with spirit, with the light and with this beautiful planet that we're here. Thank you.